the angels in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the angel of the lord declared unto mary and she conceived of the holy spirit hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen behold the handmaid of the lord be it done unto me according to thy word Hail Mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen and the word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Go forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us. Amen. May the souls of the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. During this mass, we'll be praying for the repose of the soul of Ignatius, precious de Souza. Along with this, we also pray for the Lord's personal family intentions. We pray for those who are celebrating the birthday and anniversary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all and with your spirit good morning everyone good morning father it is said every saint has a past and sinner a future the saints of the day 
Peter and Paul are a beautiful example in this connection. Both had their share of weakness or failures. One denied Christ three times, whereas the other, Paul, was bent on destroying Christ and his church. But the strength and power of God was more than their weakness. And therefore, they were overtaken by the grace of God or power of God and became strong instruments, pillars of the church in the hand of God. So on this feast day, solemnity that we are celebrating of Peter and Paul, we pray for their intercession. Let us also, like them, surrender ourselves to the will and plan of God and thus in turn we become pillars of the church, pillars of faith, thus we contribute our might for the growth of the church. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy on us, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy on us, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy on us. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore the solemnity of the Apostles Peter and Paul, give us the noble and holy joy of this day. Grant, we pray, that your Church may in all things follow the teaching of those through whom she received the beginning of right religion. Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. King Herod started persecuting certain members of the church. He beheaded James, the brother of John, and when he saw that this pleased the Jews, he decided to arrest Peter as well. 
This was during the days of unleavened bread, and he put Peter in prison, assigning four squads of four soldiers each to guard him in turns. Herod meant to try Peter in public after the end of Passover week. All the time Peter was under guard, the church prayed to God for him unremittingly. On the night before Herod was to try him, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers fastened with double chains, while guards kept watch at the main entrance to the prison. Then suddenly the angel of the Lord stood there and the cell was filled with light. He tapped Peter on the side and woke him. Get up. He said, Hurry! And the chains fell from his hands. The angel then said, Put on your belt and sandals. After he had done this, the angel next said, Wrap your cloak round you and follow me. Peter followed him, but had no idea what the angel did was all happening in reality. He thought, he was seeing a vision. They passed through two guards, posts, one after the other, and reached the iron gate leading to the city. This opened of its own accord. They went through it and had walked the whole length of one street when suddenly the angel left him. It was only then that Peter came to himself. Now I know it is all true, he said. The Lord really did send this angel and has saved me from Herod and from all that the Jewish people were so certain would happen to me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response. From all my terrors, the Lord set me free. Kindly repeat. From all my terrors, the Lord set me free. I will bless the Lord at all times, His praise always on my lips. In the Lord, my soul shall make its boast, the humble shall hear and be glad. Our response, from all my terrors, the Lord has set me free. Glorify the Lord with me, together let us praise His name. I sought the Lord and He answered me. From all my terrors, He has set me free. Our response? From all my terrors, the Lord set me free. Look towards Him and be radiant. Let your faces not be abashed. This poor man called. The Lord heard him and rescued him from all his distress. Our response? From all my terrors, the Lord set me free. The angel of the Lord is encamped around those who revere him to rescue them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. He is happy who seeks refuge in him. Our response? From all my terrors, the Lord set me free. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. My life is already being poured away as a libation, and the time has come for me to be gone. I have fought the good fight to the end. I have run the race to the finish. I have kept the faith. All there is to come now is the crown of righteousness reserved for me, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day, and not only to me, but to all those who have longed for his appearing. The Lord stood by me and gave me power, so that through me the whole message might be proclaimed for all the pagans to hear. And so 
I was rescued from the lion's mouth. The Lord will rescue me from all evil attempts on me and bring me safely to his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Kindly rise for the gospel. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. You are Peter. And on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the underworld can never hold out against it. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. When Jesus came to the region of Caesarea Philippi, he put this question to his disciples. Who do people say the Son of Man is? And they said, Some say he is John the Baptist, some Elijah, and others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. But you, he said, who do you say I am? Then Simon Peter spoke up. You are the Christ, he said, the son of the living God. Jesus replied, Simon, son of Jonah, you are a happy man because it was not flesh and blood that revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven. So I now say to you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the underworld can never hold out against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be considered bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth shall be considered loose in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, the Holy Son of God, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered and born to Pilate, was crucified and born to the Lord. He descended to hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven. And is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen.
Pray, brethren, that our morning thanksgiving sacrifice may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We bring offerings to your altar, O Lord, as we glory in the solemn feast of the blessed apostles Peter and Paul, so that the more we doubt our own merits, the more we may rejoice that we are to be saved by your loving kindness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father. Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the solemnity of St. Peter and Paul, we bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of the angels and saints, we will sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down a spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, it will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. It is death, and we drink this cup. We proclaim your death, Lord, till you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, you are church, spread throughout the world, and bring out the fullness of charity to gather Francis our Pope, Oswald our Bishop, and all the clergy and faithful. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, Saint Peter and Paul, 
who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We total trust in our Heavenly Father, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as a way to the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give unto you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us share with each other the peace of Christ. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. With the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring us to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy, be for us protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ in this life everlasting. My Jesus, my Savior, Lord, there is none like you. All of my days 
I want to praise the wonders of your mighty love. My comfort, my shelter, tower of refuge and strength. Let every breath, all that I am, Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, who have been renewed by this sacrament, so to live in the church, that persevering in the breaking of the bread and in the teaching of the apostles, we may be one heart and of one soul, made such steadfast in your love, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the love of Christ. Thanks be to God. Greetings, help and when God meets you with us. Great things happen when God mixes with us. Great and beautiful, wonderful things. Great things happen when God mixes with us. Some find life, some find peace. Some people also find joy. Some see things as they never could be. Some people find that they can now begin to trust. Great things happen when God mixes with us. Great things happen when God mixes with us. Great and beautiful, wonderful things. Great things happen when God mixes with us. 
along with your loving son, bless so Mary, everyone. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Send forth thy spirit, and they shall be created, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who didst teach the hearts of thy faithful people by sending them the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us by the same Spirit to have a right judgment in all things, and evermore to rejoice in his holy comfort. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. An act of contrition. My God, I believe in Thee. I hope in Thee. I love Thee above all things with all my soul, with all my heart and with all my strength. I love Thee because Thou art infinitely good and worthy of being loved. And because I love Thee, I repent with all my heart of having offended thee. Have mercy on me, a sinner. Amen. For the intentions of the Holy Father, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from all evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without, and Amen. Invocations to Our Lady We fly to thy patronage, Holy Mother of God, despise not our petitions in our necessities, but ever deliver us from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. O Mother of Perpetual Succor, Thou whose very name inspires confidence, help me, O loving Mother, that I may love and serve God with all my heart. Help me, O loving Mother, that I may never neglect prayer. Help me, O loving Mother, in temptations against the holy virtue of purity. Help me, O loving Mother, that I may quickly rise again should I have the misfortune to fall into sin, help me, O loving Mother, that I may labor zealously to get rid of my sinful habits, help me, O loving Mother, that I may courageously resist the seductions of the world, evil companions, bad books and films, help me, O loving Mother that I may often and devoutly receive the sacraments and fulfill my Christian duties and the duties of my state, help me, O loving Mother, that I may be patient and resigned in all trials and troubles of life, help me, O loving Mother, in sickness and pain, in poverty and distress, help me, O loving Mother that I may not delay my conversion from day to day, help me, O loving Mother, that I may ever love and serve Thee and invoke Thy assistance, help me, O loving Mother, that I may be able to lead others to love, serve and pray to Thee, help me, O loving Mother. When death is near and I am about to pass into eternity, help me, O loving Mother, to my last hour, 
to my last breath do the watch over me help me o loving mother pray for us o mother of perpetual succor that we may be made worthy of the promises of christ let us pray o almighty and merciful god who in order to assist the human race has willed the blessed virgin mary to become the mother of thy only begotten son grant we beseech thee that by her intercession we may avoid the contagion of sin and serve thee with a pure heart through the same christ our lord amen summary of petitions and thanksgiving let us thank mama mary for all the favors that we have received novena prayer o mother of perpetual succor behold me a miserable sinner at thy feet i have recourse to thee and put my trust in thee o mother of mercy have pity upon me i hear thee call by all the refuge and the hope of sinners be then my refuge and my hope succor me for the love of jesus christ stretch forth thy hand to me a poor sinner who recommend and dedicate myself to thee as thy perpetual servant i bless and thank god for having in his mercy given me this confidence in thee the pledge as i believe of my eternal salvation alas too often in past times have i miserably fallen because i had not recourse to thee i know that with thy help i shall conquer i know that thou wilt help me if i recommend myself to thee but i fear lest in the occasion of falling i should cease to call upon thee and so should lose my soul this then is the grace i seek from thee and i beg of thee as far as i know how and can to obtain it for me namely in the assaults of hell always to have recourse to thee and to say to thee o mary help me mother of perpetual succor suffer me not to lose my god amen mother of perpetual succor pray for thy children hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen mother of perpetual succor pray for thy children hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen mother of perpetual succor pray for thy children hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus Holy Mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Holy Mary succor the miserable help the faint hearted cheer those that weep pray for the people be the advocate of the clergy intercede for all devout women let all feel thy need who implore thy perpetual succor thou has been made for us o lady a refuge a helper in need and tribulation let us pray o lord jesus christ who has given us thy mother mary whose wondrous image we venerate to be our mother ever ready to succor us grant we beseech thee that we who earnestly implore her maternal aid may deserve to enjoy perpetually the fruit of thy redemption who lives and reigns world without end amen Take that child and show my birth with
The Memorare Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly to thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother, to thee I come, before thee I stand. Sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Blessing of the sick. Our help is in the name of the Lord who, who made, made heaven, heaven and, and earth. earth. Lord, hear my prayer and, and let my, my cry, cry come, come unto thee. thee. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with you, you also. also. Let us pray. Grant we beseech thee, O Lord God, that these thy servants may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body, and by the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, our Virgin, be delivered from present sorrow and enjoy eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord Jesus Christ be amongst you, to defend you, within you, to preserve you, before you, to guide you, after you, to guard you, above you, to bless you, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Through the intercession of our Mother of Perpetual Succor, may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Prayer to Saint Michael Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him. We humbly pray and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name, with you alone to guide us. Make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go, and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you a unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, 
who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. Amen.